Adventures for Western Massachusetts. This is Western Mass News. A show of support for a Wilbraham police officer shot in the line of duty as the suspect appears before a judge virtually from his hospital bed. Western Mass News reporter Rakin Logri joins us live in studio with brand new details obtained through court documents as well as what the officer's family is saying. Reagan, what can you tell us? Abby, the Wilbraham police chief tells me Officer Cam Prosperi still has a long way to go before he's fully recovered and back on the job. And Hamden's district, Hamden District Attorney tells me Officer Prosperi is in his prayers, adding that this tragic situation highlights an epidemic of gun violence in our country. The suspect accused of shooting a Wilbraham police officer last month was arraigned virtually Friday afternoon. Western Mass News was there and had our cameras rolling inside of the Palmer District Courtroom as 59-year-old Michael Ortega pleaded not guilty from his hospital bed as he recovers from gunshot injuries he suffered that night as well. Just days before the arraignment, 29-year-old officer Cameron Prosperi was released from the hospital where an outpouring of support was shown by neighboring police departments and the community. Western Mass News received a statement from Prosperi and his family that reads, Cameron is happy to be in the comfort of his home, where he will need the next several months to recover. He has been truly overwhelmed by the outpouring of love, prayers, and generosity. He would like to thank every person that has helped him in this extremely difficult journey, including the surgeons and staff at Bay State Medical Center, his fellow co-workers at the Wilbraham Police Department, and all other local and state first responders, community members, family, and friends. Cameron and his family are forever grateful. A similar theme of gratitude from Wilbraham Police Chief Edward Lennon and Hamden District Attorney Anthony Galuni, who were both in court Friday. The community has been outstanding to us. Um, the, they have supported the officer, the officers that were involved, and anything that we've needed from the community, they've reached out to us, and that support has been extremely humbling to us. I know the town of Wilbraham has really surrounded him with support and love, and the entire police department, you know, the town has really, um, really rallied and coalesced around their police department after this terrible tragedy. And he says although Officer Prosperi's physical wounds will heal, the scar of gun violence will last a lifetime. The emotional wounds that he's sure to face will probably last for the rest of his life, along with the other officers who were right there by his side when this happened. More new information revealed in court Friday. The firearm found at the home in Wilbraham with Ortega was found to be possessed illegally. DA Galuni emphasizes the danger of guns landing in the wrong hands, telling Western Mass News it's a huge problem in Hamden County and across the country. It is reaching epidemic levels. And it's very distressing to me. It's it's a difficult problem for law enforcement and the criminal justice system. Based on a police report obtained by Western Mass News, investigators learned that Michael Ortega had a history with anger and struggled with depression. Over the last several weeks, his condition has been increasingly confrontational toward his family, with a noticeable decline with his ability to manage his anger. On this date, Michael Ortega engaged in a violent and threatening behavior towards witness one and two, which police investigators were able to observe through digital video evidence obtained from the interior of the home. In this case, this is obviously a very unique and, and terrible tragedy, um, but guns in, in the wrong hands, especially people, not necessarily in this case because we don't really know yet, but people suffering from some sort of mental health episode is a very dangerous thing. Michael Ortega is being held without bail until his next hearing on February 22nd. A dangerousness hearing has also been requested due to the seriousness of the charges brought against him. We will continue to bring you updates on this case as we receive them. Reporting live in studio, Reagan Lokery for Western Mass News.